Hey guys, uh, so today I'm putting together a really quick video to show you guys just how amazing the GoPro Hero 8 image stabilization is. I've been using GoPro since the first gen GoPros came out, um, and I remember uh, I went on a bike trip and I mounted the GoPro to my bike, um, and I got back and I wanted to watch the footage, I thought it was going to be great. And it was just all shaky and like you couldn't tell what was going on, the, the footage was completely destroyed. And then I got the GoPro Hero 5, and that's the one I've been using for a long time. And then I waited a few years, and then just recently upgraded to the Hero 8. And a couple weeks ago, uh, I bought a new helmet, and um, the next day I went on a ride. And the helmet is too kind of, uh, the, the curve is too steep to, to mount the GoPro uh, sticky mounts to the top of the helmet with. So I was like, great, like, I'm not gonna not bring my GoPro. Uh, and I had this, handlebar mount that I'd had and I uh, I put it on there and I was thinking well you know given my previous experience I mean I know GoPros have gotten a lot better and we have image stabilization which obviously I've seen from having mounted the GoPro on my helmet but I mounted on there with really low expectations thinking well two things right the the vibration from the bike uh, mounted on the handlebars I mean those handlebars get real buzzy and that vibration kind of echoing up through the mount and into the GoPro itself, I figure would just make the image blurry. Uh, and the other thing too is, you know, going over those whoops, yeah, you probably have 12 to 18 inches of violent vertical motion, just that camera's going up and down and it's just, you know, getting hit violently. And so I figured, well, you know, it's better than not having the footage, but uh, I didn't have any real high expectations for it. And uh, I got back and I was amazed. Like, if I was going down the trail, you know, and you look at the ridge lines, that ridge line is staying perfectly still. I mean, it's just, it's not even, it doesn't even look like the the GoPro is mounted to anything. It's just floating through the air. And But you can see the bike, right? You can see the uh, the brake and the, uh, the Speedo uh, cables kind of, moving up and down and you can see the kind of the the front fender going up and down too and the whole thing is just being kind of violently kind of shook around but the camera image is just staying perfectly stable it's amazing i can't get over just how good it is so i just compiled all of the kind of highest speed footage from that ride uh, into a short video so that you guys can see just how incredible that is uh, taking kind of everything into context uh, that i just said Thank you.